it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Now I've chosen today's lager battle on the basis that these two lagers are kind of synonymous with UK beer lager drinkers but they're both from different countries so it's not like I'm doing like an Indian beer battle which we did recently but I still think that I can put these two beers together because well, they've been with us for such a long time, haven't they? On the one side, we have Heineken, a pure malt lager in a bottle. On the other side, we have Carlsberg. And when I was growing up drinking beer, certainly in my kind of late teens, 20s, I used to call them the green beers because they're always packaged in green bottles or whenever you had a kind of beer in a, in a in a pub they were always kind of green labeled beers weren't they heineken in a green label carlsberg in a green label so i kind of call them the green beers so i'm going to put these together i'm going to put these up against each other because i think they these two beers have played a really important part in shaping not just british brewing but european brewing We'll get into everything at the, in a moment, but I want to get the beers out into a glass and see what we get. So I'm going to start off by saying, yes, Heineken in a bottle, Carlsberg Pilsner and Carlsberg Export in cans. Now, I tried so hard to find single cans of Carlsberg. It's literally impossible. Go to the supermarket, have a look at the three bottles for £5 deals. You'll see Heineken everywhere in this big kind of 660, 650 milliliter bottle. But Carlsberg, you won't. They only want to sell their beer in packs. So a four pack or an eight pack of, of, of Carlsberg. So what I had to do in the end was go around my local corner shop and say, can I buy single cans off you? Because I'm really not going to drink the rest of the kind of packs of beer that, that the supermarkets are trying to sell me. So let's start off by pouring the uh, Carlsberg Danish Pilsner. The reason why we're doing two beers from Carlsberg is because one is 3.8% ABV and the export is 4.8% ABV. And I'm going to say right now that the export is going to be closer to the 5% Heineken. But I thought to myself, let's put the, the, the weaker Pilsner up against it anyway. Just, well, why not, eh? Why not? So, beer in the glass then. We got a bit of rain on the conservatory roof today. I gotta to apologize for that noise. There's a look at the Danish Pilsner. Here is the export. Now with the export, because it's very similar to the 5% ABV Heineken, I'm using the same glassware. But I only have two of these glasses, one's in the dishwasher. I have three, but one's in the dishwasher. So um, we'll be using the regular kind of pint glass for the regular kind of Carlsberg, I suppose. So here's the export. Oh, now this is interesting. It looks like it doesn't want to develop a head. Ah, here we go. There's a bit of a head developing on this one. Now, there we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? It's very well in date. It's in date by a year. And here is the Heineken. So why are they synonymous then with British Brewing, Heineken and Carlsberg. Well, I would say definitely Heineken had a strategy. 
Heineken's strategy was buy breweries all over Europe and literally not all of them but close a lot of them down. Heineken have had such an influence on European brewing, it's incredible. You go to Poland and Heineken's name in Poland is not very well regarded. They literally, a lot of the big breweries in Poland, they shut down uh, only to sell their, their Heineken product or try and sell their Heineken product instead. So here we go then, where do we start? I think we're gonna start with the Danish Pilsner. There's the carbonation rolling up the glass. We've got a two finger white head. Yeah, it's a kind of straw colored lager. Let's um, get the aroma. A little bit sweet. A little bit of malt coming through, a little bit of kind of syrups coming through. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, it, um, it's a little bit sweet. It's a little bitter on the back end. There's a little bit of malt there. There's a little bit of hop character. It doesn't strike me of real premium quality, this beer. It's 3.8% ABV. Um, this is your kind of swing back, compete with the likes of Carling and Foster's, I think. This is their competition beer to, to compete with the likes of Carling and Foster's. This has been positioned to compete with the likes of Carling and Foster's. Um, Something I wouldn't choose to buy and drink on a regular basis. Hence the fact that I only wanted to buy one can of this. I didn't want to buy a whole pack. It'd be in my fridge for months. Right, Heineken then. Green glass bottle. Three for five pounds in Asda. Smells okay. Definitely get that kind of all malt quality to it. A little bit spicy and peppery. Let's dive in. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let me get into this again. It's definitely got a better bitterness to it. It's definitely got a nicer kind of bitter kind of pilsner finish to it. Um, all malt is coming through, but it's not too dissimilar. It's not a million miles away from the regular Carlsberg Pilsner at 3.8% ABV. And that's quite surprising, you know. That's quite surprising. That's Heineken's core kind of flagship brand. Now the other thing I wanted to quickly talk to you about is the fact that they got out of telling you exactly where this is brewed. You used to be able to find out if bottled Heineken was brewed just in the Netherlands. Which I've actually forgotten to say. Heineken, Netherlands, Carlsberg, Denmark. I mentioned the two different countries at the start of the review. But this is brewed in the UK and Netherlands. How can it be brewed, brewed in the UK and Netherlands? 
So there's no real way of telling anymore whether you're, you're drinking UK Heineken or Heineken from the Netherlands. That's a bit of a shame really. I'm going to probably say this tastes a little bit like UK brewed um, Heineken. It's just got that kind of slight earthiness to it that's not overly fantastic. Right, and now for the premium Carlsberg export. <clears throat> a little bit sweet again. Now that's a different beer. That's a different beer. Um, I'm going to say that the Carlsberg export tastes a little syrupy compared to the all malt lager of the Heineken. You definitely get that kind of slight syrupy sweetness coming through. Um, and a little bit of bitterness. I'm going to be honest with you here straight away. Um, while it's fresh in my mouth, fresh on my taste. <coughs> I'm trying to find a winner. I'm trying desperately to find a winner here. Um, definitely bitter. It's definitely got a... a, a, a it, it's not a, an overly nice bitterness, though, coming through on Heineken. It's definitely bitter, but it's not like... It's not an overly flavoursome bitterness. Trying to find a winner. Very samey. It's very, very samey. Where is this brood? Uh, Wolverhampton, Marston's Brewery. Premium lager, brewed and canned in the UK. Carlsberg Marston's Brewing Company. Wolverhampton, Carlsberg Breweries. So all of this beer, presuming this is brewed at the same, yeah, Wolverhampton. All of this beer is brewed in the UK, I'm pretty sure. That Heineken is brewed in the UK too. Um, this is the most difficult versus battle I've faced so far. I think I'm just going to have to go through each beer and give individu individual ratings. It's hard to find a winner because it's really not... It's not great quality beer, this. Three point eight percent Carlsberg Danish Pilsner, brewed in the UK Danish Pilsner. Um, it's quite poor. It's quite poor. It's a it's a kind of four out of ten, I would say. Four out of ten for the Carlsberg. Sticking with the same beer, I suppose, but slightly stronger. The Carlsberg Export. There's a little bit more poke to it. There's a little bit more bitterness. There's a little bit more of that kind of. It's definitely a syrupy sweetness coming through on the on the Carlsberg export. Um, five out of ten. Five out of ten. Which leaves me leaves me with a Heineken, doesn't it? It's like it's, it's like you're drinking the same beer. It's very difficult actually to find a difference. Even though I was talking about the kind of syrupiness with the with the Carlsberg export, it's very it's very similar to the Heineken. It's that kind of what the Heineken has with its disadvantage is the kind of bitterness. The mm. There's like an astringent bitterness coming through. 
that's just not very nice. Um, belly full of carbonation as well. Overly carbonated, burping mess. Um, I'm what I'm also going to give. I'm going to give the Heineken a five out of ten as well. So I, I think the Carlsberg Export five out of ten, Heineken five out of ten. I can't pick a winner because it's it, it, it's all very poor beer. Um, oh, okay. Um, that was quite difficult actually to film. That was a quite a, quite a difficult video because um, I was thinking. The two beers might be okay, but it's really not. It's really not okay. It's it's downward spiral, I think, for these breweries. I can't imagine many people going, yes, I'm gonna I can't wait till Friday so I can drink my Heineken. I just can't imagine just can't imagine it. Um I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.